welcome to church on the air my voice and your voice the voice of the people and the very very special voice of god we have been by the special grace of god on relationship series and we have been bringing you messages on the importance of friendship we started with a warning that you should be very, very careful with the kind of friends you keep in view of human trafficking, occultic practices, the selling of human parts. We said be careful and we gave you instances. And we have continued to give you reasons why it is good to have a friend. A friend is a confidant, a companion, an acquaintance, an ally, your associate, your classmate, could be your colleague, it could be your compatriot, your comrade, someone you are familiar with, your pal, your partner, your playmate, schoolmate, whosoever. We are saying, while you should be careful, we are also saying that friendship is good. But like usual, we first of all present to you the best friend to have which is Jesus when you have Jesus as your friend you have everything Psalm 23 describes adequately what friendship is all about Psalm 23 tells us he said the Lord is my shepherd when you have Christ Jesus as your friend then he is your shepherd and what does a shepherd do? A shepherd watches over you. He guides you. He protects you. He makes sure that it is well with you. He says, I shall not want. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be great to have Jesus as your friend? Those of us who have him, we have needs, we have wants, yes. But in Christ Jesus, all that we need and want is insignificant. Because we know that Ephesians 3.20, he can do for us exceedingly abundantly above that which we ask. We seek or we desire. So in this COVID-19 period, in this time of economic recession, the inflation rate in Nigeria is increasing daily, going downward. The best friend to have is Jesus. Jesus. We ensure that you do not want. He would make you to lie down in green pastures where everywhere is dry, nothing, nothing happening. Your own side will be different. And people say, ah, in this economic recession, you are doing this, you are doing that. Yes. That is what Jesus can do for you. That's why Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else shall be added to you. If you are not yet done that, we enjoy you to do that. A lot of people are in the church for that. Because they say, make we not seek the kingdom of God, do and his righteousness, if we not do and so, other things, Nagara, Pikino, Nagara, wife, oh, Nagara, husband, oh, Nagara, money, oh, Nagara, whatsoever you want. And people are tripping in, tripping in. Even Babalawo, now you won't see Babalawo signboard that says it's Babalawo, everybody's inside church. That is why we started with the church. We began our warning from the church. We said, be very, very careful. Be weary. One of the girls that went into prostitution in Russia. Father, we thank you. Daddy will bless you. We give you all praise. We give you all honor. Faithful God. Faithful God. You have done marvelous things you have done glorious things you have done marvelous things faithful god thank you very much for streamlining with us thank you for listening to us jordan 93.9 fm is the special voice of god you are listening to god and as you listen your life can never 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 remain the same again in the name of Jesus. God is watching you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, a lot are inside the church now. And that's why you see, for one, everybody is there. You must be careful. Of course. But at the same time, 
they are there because anytime there's an original, there is a fake. Mm. So those of you that are saying, I won't go to church again because of this that happened, that that happened. Yeah, see this know. pastor, see that pastor, see this pastor, <laughs> see pastor wife. We've come to tell you that those are not the yardsticks at all. Hebrews chapter 11 has the Bible's Hall of Fame. Who and who? Who is who? They are there. But immediately after that, Hebrews 12, 1 says that, seeing that we have such a great cloud of witnesses, he said, let us lay them aside. Mm. Let us lay every weight aside. Let's not look at anybody, pastor, pastor, wife, or bishop. If the bishop life let him marry 100 times, that is not your yardstick. It's not, it's not. The Bible mm -hmm. has the final say. say. Who has... The final say in your life, Jehovah has the final say. In my life, Jehovah turned my life around. Oh, yes, he will turn your life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah is the one that has the final authority, not anybody. So if they like, let anything be happening inside the church, just categorize it. We have kingdom of darkness and kingdom of light. Just carry those pastors, those people, members, so all who put them in side B, which is the side of Satan that is imitating and seeking to copy that which is good. And so this morning, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. He is the best friend you can yeah. ever have. He will make you to lie down in green pastures. He will lead you beside the still waters. Everywhere is turbulent now, kidnapping everywhere. But he will put a seal and a, a, a guide over you and over me. He will ensure that no evil comes on us. And as many that are in captivity, we are praying God will release them. And God will restore our nation to where it ought to be safe, secured in the name of Jesus. Nigeria belongs to Jesus. He will make sure that the turbulent waters are mm -hmm. still in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are praying and we release the angels of war to go and fight on our behalf. First of all, we pray that let them come to a saving knowledge of God. But as many that say no, we hand them over to judgment. Mm -hmm. Hand them over for judgment. The sun will judge them. The moon will judge them. The ground they walk upon will open up and swallow them. Jesus the air, all the elemental forces will the judge them. They drink, the food that they are Afghanistan has fallen it will to the Taliban. We are now praying for the Taliban, for Afghanistan, that their new rulers will rule well, that they will have a human face. They were ruling before, but the Americans and NATO forces had to come in because they were very barbaric. The Afghanistan president fled, and people are condemning him, but he said he didn't want any more bloodshed because for 20 years, there has been so much blood. We support him, and we say that the hearts of kings and of men is in the hands of God. We pray for Afghanistan as a point of cont contact for Nigeria on the list after Afghanistan. I think we are the third country, and all the Factors at play is the same, but we are saying that no, Nigeria will not fall in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is safe and secure in the hands of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We can't fight as they fight. We can't do as they do, but we have a God that can fight for us. Yes. We have a God that can do all things, and we have deployed his angels. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Mm -hmm. They can never mm -hmm. speak one language. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. They will never speak one language. In, in the name of Jesus. The and the armies of God will go and fight for us. Jesus we name. command um, and decree and declare. That Second Chronicles 20. From verse 21 we come to play. In Nigeria. Where they began to sing and to pray. The Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. Uh, Kuba chapter has a praise afternoon this afternoon. As we lift up the praise, a high praise to God, as others have been doing, we know that God will come down, Jesus. take all the glory everywhere that prayers has, are being offered for Nigeria. He will come down and take over. And we we'll see Jesus. what begins to come to play. Amen. Second Chronicles 20, 21, 22. 21, they lift up a high praise. 22. The enemies began to fight themselves. Mm. Three powerful kings. The kings of Mount Ammon, Mount Seir, and Moab. 
the two lesser ones conspired and fought the bigger one. And then after that, they began to fight themselves. Second Chronicles 20, 23, 24. These are scriptures I've put in my head. <laughs> Find your own and put them in your head and talk them over and declare them and decree them and see them come to pass. 23, 24. The Bible says that when the children of Israel came, they only began to pack, pack the spoils of war. All those millions they have already carried from kidnapping. All those they have carried through banditry whatsoever. Mm. Nigeria will pack them again. Oh, Jesus. Nigeria will pack them the again. They will go back to their rightful the owners again. As many that cried, sold land, sold property, sold this, sold that, mm. to pay ransom. Jehovah. God will bring them, make a return back in again. Because Jesus. those things will judge them. The those things will work against them in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. The land is crying for vengeance, but we say yeah. no. Mm -hmm. We nullify every blood sucking demons with the blood of Jesus the Christ. Of Jesus. We say Jesus will take over. Jesus. Jesus will take charge. Jesus. Jesus will take control. The best friend to have is Jesus. He's not limited at all, at all, at all. He's in the north, the south, the east, the west. Mm -hmm. That's why the psalmist said, where can I go from your presence? Nowhere. No He's everywhere. So those of you that mock prayer, don't mock prayer. When you want to fight, your fighting is limited. Those reprisal attacks are not necessary. Please don't do them. Nigeria's problem now is not about Muslim or Christian. No. It's the problem of some people who are just benefiting from the pains and cries of others. Of others. Yeah. Don't fight that neighbor that has been with you for years. Mm -hmm. Don't fight that sister that has been with you for years. No. Say no to reprisal attacks. No. Let's unite together in your neighborhood. Form vigilante. Meet the police. Ask them, how can we secure our environment? How far can we go? Form barricades. Watch. Be on alert. Stand together against the enemy, not against yourselves. When you fight yourself, they come to grab your land. Then your land will become desolate and waste, and they will just come and take over, which is what they want. Say no to reprisal attack. That neighbor is not your enemy. That Muslim is not your enemy. That Christian is not your enemy. So all these things we hear, Christian quarters, Muslim quarters, should not be. Should not be. I have a first-hand experience of that. I grew up in Jos, and our, our area in Jos is now under Muslim control. So sad. But growing up, we were one with them. Everything won. We celebrated the feast days together. Everything, everything, everything together. Everything together. When we are crying, they are there. When we are celebrating, they are there. The same thing with them. The same, everything. I told you when I got married and I came three months after. From the main road, they were asking me, eh, yeah, well, when did you, why did you come? What did you come to do? When are you going back? I said, I beg you, this one, not my family. <laughs> Only to go home. The same question these people that are my family, my sended family, the same question my mother asked me. What did you come? What did you come to do? Why are you going back? I said, outsider asked me that question. Outsider asked me. Say no, there's not, they are, we are all one, nothing like outsider. And I told them, no, it is safe. I came to do today. So, okay. Then the next question, when are you going back? The same question they asked me, the same. Everybody, the same concern. What happened? And they were all crying. Everybody, I said, when I came, when I got back, they said, no, that one don't pass. Stay in your husband's house. Caring, loving. In fact, one of my, my cousin, Eloho, my late sister's uh, son, my mother had to ask my senior sister to come and pick him because Eloho was in our half brother's home. He would refuse to come home. But when it was now time to go to school, she so said, Come and pick him. That was how, how one we were and should be and should continue to be. Amen. Our mother will send us, we'll go. And all those uh, uh, old full and new men, all those that their children had gone, we we'll go and wash clothes for them, fresh water for them. What happened? Lie of the devil. Hmm. Even our family house was burnt. Hmm. A lie of the devil. Hmm. Okay, to lie see. of the devil. They now say this is Let Muslim quarters, this is Christian quarters. Hmm. You can't go there in the evening. It you can't do like this. You can't beginning. enter here. <laughs> you can't enter there. A lie hmm. of the devil. Hmm. We Let say no to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we declare that Nigeria ceases to be under the, the carnage, mm -hmm. the wastage of any banditry or anything. This is not mm -hmm. what we came to do this morning, but whatever it is, let God have his way. Mm -hmm. And so we say no to it mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And speak a oneness and speak a togetherness mm -hmm. in sincerity, not in cheating. No, no. And we 
appeal to government to please there is a lot of things you can do to bring back trust a lot of things you can do to bring back that togetherness that oneness you see when you say together when anyone feel marginalized and cheated then they will say to hell with that relationship it's in the bible when jeroboam took over from his father solomon there was peace everywhere but then the elders sent to him he said ah please we have some issues we have some grievances. Your father was okay. He was a nice man. He was a this. We had peace. But there are certain areas you should look into. This, 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 this. But Jeroboam took advice from his friends. He said, I beg. We are the ones ruling now. We can do it by ourselves. We don't need the people. Don't forget that democracy, government, is a government for the, for people, the people, by the people, people for, for the, the people. people. You are ruling for the people, not against the people. You are ruling in consonance with the dictates of the mandate given to you by the people in the constitution. So when you go back, please go back and look at it. Where are you doing well? Listening to the radio, some people say, government have tried, they are trying. Yes. But what good is the road? What good is infrastructure? What good is all those things that government are doing that they are clapping for when there is no security, when there is no joy, when there is no peace, when there is hunger? Just coming out now, I could see on one of the clips, people rejoicing that government want to begin to share palliative. To me, all those palliative is not the thing. Let there be peace. When there is peace, people can, can go and work mm -hmm. their monies. When there is, when there is peace, people... Now, Abuja is a, is, a, is a state where the, uh, there are farmers. Most of the civil servants are farmers, but now they can't go. They can't go. One said the other day that he went, when he went, to harvest with his car, he got there. He saw cows eating up his seeds. He began to cry. <laughs> he was crying, kind of telling them, Sanu, <laughs> crying, Sanu, <laughs> crying, was saying, Sanu. The palliatives, we had a meeting yesterday for fellowship of pastors, wives, and women in ministries. And one of them said she got money. She got 600,000. I said, ah, 600,000. What do you do with the, the money? The money has gone. Because they say, okay, register for this again, register for that, register for this, register for that. And if they give one million, those will, some people collect 600, to remain like this. All those things, at the end of the day, it, the problems are too much. But when there is peace and people can go and work their monies, and the inflation is not high, not that you, you, they give you this money, you can't use it for anything, you can't buy anything, you can't. No, 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 no. Let us go back and do it well. The best friend to have is Jesus. Yes. So government, please, we are praying for you. But again, mm -hmm. listen to the people. Find out what is the problem. They are no, trying. Confusion, you but when again. you listen again, you can have better, better results. You will end well. You will do well. In the, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, the Lord who have started with you, we keep you up. Amen. We pray for our president every day that wisdom of words, of thoughts and action, God, God we will give to him and to all that are there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And to we too, the citizens, we will act in wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not do things that is contrary. No. I like what Mr. President said within the week. That you will not end and leave Nigeria in chaos. Mm -hmm. Amen and amen to amen. that. But please let it be positive. Mm -hmm. Let it be positive. Let it be positive. Jesus, the Afghan Jesus. president has left. He left his nation in peace. But that is not a peace. <laughs> Yes, he just left the country for the Taliban to take over. Mm -hmm. Good, he has left the country in peace. There is no bloodshed. Yes, but again, we began to see what mm -hmm. is happening. Listen to the news, then you hear what is happening. No, we don't want that kind of uh, peaceful something. We want a peace that is in consonance with a better Nigeria. Nigeria was given as one, remaining as one, in peace. The north is safe, the east is safe, mm. the west is safe, the north is safe, and people can go mm. to the farms, oh, yes, people yes, can yes, travel, people can do a lot of things as one. Please, Father, we say thank you. We are giving you the thank you because we, we like what Mr. President have said. We said we will hold the you. interpretation of it will be for the good of all in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. That is good governance. As per what is handed over to them in the Constitution, a one Nigeria, where there is the federal character principles at play, where everyone is safe and secure. I can live in the north, 
the south, the east, and the west, anywhere. Mm. Oh, and there's no fear that some people have guns, some people don't have guns. Some people can go to the farms and kill some people, some people cannot. No, all those fears are gone. And so, Father, you will help them to do that, which is right, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all the security agents. Father, you will guide them, you will help them. They will not go and there will be an Akan in the camp that will be shooting them from the back. No. 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 And so, Father, we say you keep them safe. You watch over them. You will uphold them in the name of Jesus. As they have given their lives for Nigeria, they will not die on timely death. They will not die. Enemy within will not kill them. No. Enemy outside will not kill them. No. But you will go before them as commander in the Lord's army and fight for them. We neutralize every Akan in the camp. We neutralize everything that is inimical to one Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Thank you because there will be peace and tranquility, justice and fair play. An egalitarian society, Nigeria taking her place in the Committee of Nations. As the giant of Africa rightly not just making up the picture, no, and not being in the news for wrong, wrong things, no, no, talk of a, a, a terrorism, Nigeria number three, no, talk of a drugs, Nigeria number one, the list, no, talk of corruption, number one, number three, on the index, no, but for positivity, positivity, Nigeria will lie in still waters in the name of Jesus Christ, green pastures everywhere in the name of Jesus, being shepherded by God Himself. In fear, in honesty, in truth, loving our neighbors again in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Where we do not fear for any religion, no, but we are there as one in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You have the freedom to believe what you want. I have the freedom to believe what I want in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray for the Taliban, help them. It's okay to have an Islamic state, but please, God, we pray that let them have love for their citizens, mm -hmm. love for the people. Not arbitrary killings and shootings. No. Let them take their place rightfully. We pray your peace over them. We pray your peace over Jerusalem and the Middle East. We pray your peace continually over Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. The best friend to have is Jesus. The best friend to have is Jesus. He will never leave you dry. He will never leave you no. The best friend to have is Jesus. He will restore your soul. He will restore our nation, Nigeria. He will restore the north, the south, the east, and the west. He will lead our leaders in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Because of his name's sake, even I don't pray for myself anymore. I just say, God, I say, God, you know that if anything outside what is peace and tranquility happens, it means that the church doors will be locked. So, Daddy, the battle is about you, not about me. Vindicate yourself. Fight for yourself. There is no one that can say they are bigger than God. No. Mm -hmm. The church does cannot be shut in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. and so we pray for Afghanistan. That they will not close the church doors in the name of Jesus. But they will say, okay, you are free to have your religion, but please, no indecent dressing, live according to the rules. Okay. But not persecuting them. And so in our nation, will not be persecuted in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we say thank you. Because you will rise and fight for yourself. You rise and vindicate yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. You are walking through the valley of shadow of death now, but no more so in Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not fear any evil because our Lord has risen with healing in his wings to heal Nigeria, to take over Nigeria, to heal our wounds, to heal our wounds. As many that are crying, as many whose children are still their husband's wives under ransom, Father, release them. Father, release them. We say thank you that they are surrendering, but we pray that let it be in peace and in spirit and in truth. But if it is for a lie that they are doing that, only to go into the army to kill us, Father, you will answer them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you because you are with us. Your rod and your staff will comfort us. Your rod and your staff again will fight for us. The sun, the moon, the stars, all the elemental forces will rise and fight for Nigeria and vindicate Nigeria. Because Nigeria is a peaceful country. Nigeria is a loving country. Nigeria fought for apartheid. In all the peacekeeping forces, Nigeria is their number one. Even during COVID-19, Nigeria, I had the foreign minister myself when he was giving his state of office address. Nigeria number one everywhere. For good, not for evil. 
so shall you continue to be in the name of Jesus Christ. When you have Jesus as your friend, when Nigeria makes Jesus her friend, not persecuting her, God will prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Amen. As many enemies that rise up against us, God will fight against them. Jesus, yes, we are aware that there are nations that used to sponsor to cause trouble. The Bible says that when they rise up, God will answer them. Amen. Whether as individuals or otherwise, our God will answer them. He will answer them for us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Anoint thank you. Nigeria fresh with your oil of peace, yeah, yeah, with your oil of joy, yeah. with your ears of laughter Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Jubilation in the camp, victory, Amen. because the Egyptians, the forces, the problems we Amen. see now, yeah, we see them no more them. in the name of Jesus. Amen. All the security agents will rise up and do that which is proper. Proper, without fear, without compromise, in the name of Jesus Christ. And is there anyone wearing our uniform, eating our money, but they are doing otherwise? We don't know, now prayer will they pray. Father, you will take over. You will arrest those hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Nigeria's money, Nigeria's military, Nigeria's everything. Forces is for the good of Nigeria. So shall it be. God will empower them to do that which is right continually. In the name of Jesus. And the gains they have done, they will go a little, but God will magnify their gains in the name of Jesus. With all of these points, you can see that the best friend to have is Jesus. Psalm 23, verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow. Follow Nigeria, follow me, follow you all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. We have made a case for being friends with God, being friends with Nigeria, and government being friends in tune with the dictates of God. Solomon was made the richest, the wealthiest, because his earnest only one request was that he may lead the people in wisdom. May that be also the portion of our leaders. Mm -hmm. They came in with the mandate to rule us. God will give them the wisdom of words of thoughts and actions to do that which is right that will make nigeria safe well secured a prospered nation in the name of jesus Amen. growing up china taiwan india indians we are we are teachers that time all of these people were third world countries as we are but today they are powers to be reckoned with nigeria will not be left over we mm. press the fast forward button I say, Nigeria, move forward positively, not negatively. Amen. What is happening now is on hard rough. Mm. Even, 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 even during the slave trade, nothing like this. This is barbaric and unacceptable. We press the fast forward button to say, Nigeria, forward ever, not backward never. Jesus, we refuse Amen. to go back to the dark oh. ages <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for our government. They will succeed positively will well. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, we're indebted a lot. When Obasanjo came, we were able to write off those debts. And in the news, they said they will still have to be borrowing more. No, we have more than enough to make it. Father, show them the way forward Amen. and help us all. Amen. The studio lines to call 70 Five zero eight six three nine three nine. Another studio line to call zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven. Hello. Good afternoon. You are welcome to Church on the Air. Yes, sir. Thank you for calling, sir. Thank you, sir.
Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very welcome. much for calling. We appreciate your call. The studio lines to call 070-5086-3939. Hello, good afternoon, church on the air. Thank you, sir. Happy to hear from you, sir. Thank you, sir. I can hear you, sir. <laughs> I do, sir. I do, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm very grateful, sir. The Lord will know you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen, sir. To God be the glory. Amen, sir. Amen, sir. I can hear you, sir. Thank you, sir. We give the glory to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. We've had two callers. The last caller, Barista John, called to say he wants to say thank you, Jesus, for what he was doing at Jordan 93.9 FM via this program and other edifying programs that we air. Thank you very much for being there for us. We actually met in person at the bus stop. <laughs> you know, immediately I, I stopped the taxi and I spoke. He asked me a question. He said, are you the one on radio, your voice? <laughs> I said, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. He even paid my fee. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> we celebrate Jesus in you all. Thank you. And as many of you that are out there listening to us, the Lord bless you. The Lord Amen. keep you. The Lord prosper you all Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello? 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 Afternoon, sir. We can hear you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. Our third caller has called to say that the problem is not Nigeria, but the problem is us Christians, the individual. He said we want change. Change must be begin with us. Mm -hmm. He gave a reading assignment for John 8, 36. Please write it down. John 8, 36. 
and Romans 5. He said, read it. Change must begin from you and me. God bless you, sir. Hello? 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 Good afternoon. We can hear you loud and clear. One minute. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's on. How can we help you, sir? How can we help you? What is that? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. What about wow. your life? We are listening, sir. Okay, sir. So you what do you what do you want us to pray for, sir? It's okay. We will pray with you. We will communicate your message. Mm. Hello? Hey, we we can you. hear you. We can hear you at time. We can hear you. It's okay. okay. Hello, we are pastors on air. We can hear you. Okay, Pastor Magdalene, please pray for him. He wants you to pray for him. Almighty God in heaven, we are grateful to you for the gift of life. We give you praise and honor, the exalted Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. The God that answer prayer at all times. Father, we commit your son to your hand. Whatever may be, uh, may be his name, Jehovah grant his heart desire. Meet him at the point of his knee. Roll away every sickness, every disease, whatever may be the challenge. Give him grace to become champion over that challenge in his life in Jesus' name. Draw him closer to yourself because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and life. Make him to know you in case he have not known you. Thank you, Father, because we know you answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We extend that prayer of grace and comfort to everyone listening out there. Whatever is your challenge, may the Lord meet you at the point of your need. May the Lord answer you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello, good afternoon, church on the air. Afternoon, sir. Same to you, sir. Amen. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. 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 Thank you very God much. We celebrate you. you. Amen. 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 We celebrate you. Our fourth caller called to say that, like the third caller, that change must begin with you and I. That Nigeria will be a better place to be in if we love one another, we care for one another. He said, do the right thing. Say the right thing. Fight for the right cause. Right cause. I like that. Fight for the right cause. And then love Nigeria. And God will help us. In closing, mm -hmm. as I hand over to Pastor Magdalene here, the first scholar, uh, Adadi Godwin from Gwagwalada, called to say that politicians were the problem facing Nigeria. Well, callers number three, four, and five have said that the problem is with us as individuals. Change must begin from us. Daddy Godwin from Gwagwalada said that politicians were the cause, that they caused all this insecurity, and from there they are able to carry away money in this, that, this. They do security vote, that, that, this, and this. Then they pay uh, bandits and pay all these things to win election, and that is where we are 
where we are where we are at. So he said, politicians, please do politics without bandits, without um, killing people, without self, without selfishness. He re-echoed what we said in our prayer points. We are here to serve, not to amass wealth or to harass the citizens you have gone, vowed to protect and to serve. He said, politics is a call to service, not otherwise. So our barrister John from Gogolada called, from Buari has called to say that the grace of God is sufficient for us, that we should pray, we should watch, and we should love one another, and we should not allow the devil to use us. Pastor Magdalene Osada is in the house. Pastor Magdalene, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Frederick. Happy Sunday to you all. In the book of uh, Deuteronomy, destroy your enemy today, whatever that enemy may be to you. Destroy him, destroy her out of your life. It may be enemy of sin, enemy of uh, disobedience. God is expecting you to destroy, destroy him out of your life. In destroy your enemy, 28, I, I want to read verse 1 and uh, 2. He said, and it shall come to pass, if thou, that thou is you and me, if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. In verse 2, he said, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee and if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. <laughs> from verse 3, from verse 3 to, to 13, you can go and read that on your own. In verse 14, it says, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. So the remaining part of the verses, from verse 3 to 13, so that is your reading assignment. Go and find out all the blessings of, that God has uh, uh, promised us there that if you will be, if you will, if you will hack it diligently unto the voice of the Lord that God, all the blessings that God has promised they become your portion. I believe that uh, to be wise is enough for the world. God of heaven will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus the sinner's prayer is the way, the truth, and life. We have been told earlier that the best friend to have, especially in this period, is Jesus Christ, the one that cannot fail, the one that cannot disappoint you, the one that cannot uh, 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 slaughter you while he's saying that he's your friend. So the best friend to have is Jesus Christ. In case you have not been identified with him, this is an opportunity for you to do so. The gate of mercy is wide open for whosoever is willing that want to enter because a time is coming when that gate will be closed. It's my prayer the gate of mercy will not close against you. It will not close against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So to get uh, connected with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, simply say this prayer, Lord Jesus, have you have of coming. Transform my life. And then, as you do, your life will never be the same again. And look for a place of a fellowship, a physical fellowship. That is a church. You need a place of fellowship so as to grow, so as to know more about the word of God. It's my prayer. The Holy Spirit of God will direct you to where you will be taught more about the word of God. And you will never regret and you will never go astray like a sheep without a shepherd. Bless God Almighty will bless and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I give you a reading assignment from Deuteronomy 28 where Pastor Magdalene has read. She gave us verse 1 and 2. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2. We says that if you shall hearken diligently to keep these commandments, all these blessings will follow you. I ask you to please read from verse 1 to 14. 14 there you see the promises God has assigned to give you. When you make him your friend, when you work in partnership with him, when you obey his commandments, when you listen to him, then he says that all those blessings there will follow you. I won't give it to you. I won't tell you. Remember, when you buy those newspaper review people, they will tell you, they say, they just tell you small. Then they will say, go and read. 
But let me give you just one out of it to know why you must go back. Deuteronomy 28, 7, they say they shall come against you in one way, but they shall flee in seven ways. Meaning that as many of you that think you have problems, you have challenges, you feel that one household enemy is harassing you or the other. When you make your way right with oh God, God, Deuteronomy 28, 7 says that they will come in one way, but oh flee goodness. in seven ways. You won't even know what is happening. When you hear people coming to tell you, ah, that your God strong, go, hold on, well, oh. We hear them asking, which church, which church are you going? <laughs> know that they have been <laughs> trying you. Tried. Most of you, they, they don't know that, that they don't try, you try, they don't fail. They now they come to find out where your power mm. they, who they help you, who they pray for you, who be the mm. champion, mm. who stand for you on behalf of God. But we are saying that no more champions. God is not looking for middle men. He wants you to know him for yourself. And as you know him for yourself, read the whole of Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. From 14, I tried one day to read what is the course. It's not be here. He, plenty, 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 plenty courses if you don't know Jesus. But that is not your portion. Jesus mm -hmm. came to save the sinners. He came to save you and me, not the righteous. Father, we thank you for how far you have helped us this morning. Holy Spirit, thank you. We lift up the Jordan family as a point of contact for all those that are listening. Father, bless them. Bless Nigeria. Bless Afghanistan. To do that which is right. Israel, the nations of the world, Lord, may your will alone be done. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you are in Kuba, please, I'm the prayer coordinator for PFN Kuba Zone. I give you a special invitation, 3 p.m., Redeem Christian Church of God, phase 3. 3 p.m., Redeem Christian Church of God. There's a praise, a high praise going on for our nation, Nigeria. For yourself, for myself, for God has kept us. It's a praise night. Praise evening, please. Phase 3, Redeem Christian Church of God, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria is lifting up Nigeria and the high praise. Join us. And your life and my life will never remain the same again. As we praise God, we reap the dividends of our prayers. In Jesus' name, the Lord bless you. Keep you. There's containers of favor and of mercy. Never leave us all. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, thank you, thank you.